Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys a series of top 10 applications for your Android smartphone, some of which will allow you to transform your phone's interface as you can see in the video. Now all the apps I feature today are well developed, full of features, customizable, offer a gorgeous interface and offer fluid operation. So let's dive right in. All right, so the first application that I want to show you guys is called the Buzz Launcher. Buzz Launcher basically is a home screen replacement application which is going to give you a nice and fresh home screen replacement and the good thing about this guy is you can go and download different skins for your home screen now each home screen here is customizable so you can add widgets you can press and hold and you get all these options okay if you want to change the entire theme of the new home screen you go to home pack buzz and from the home pack buzz you can download any of these guys so let, I don't like that one so let me go back here let's take a look at this one right here so if I tap on something I like all I do is I click download and then I can say replace my entire home pack you tap that it is going to download this It's going to give you a preview and once you get the preview you simply confirm your choice and now you have a brand new home screen pack okay and like I said uh, go ahead and download this it is free so you can go and you can play around with this and if you tap and hold anywhere on the screen you can change the wallpaper you can edit the layout of the screen and uh, you can create your own theme and then you can upload that to uh, the other people and then you have system settings you can go to the app drawer here so all these guys do come with the app drawers and of course another thing I want to show you guys is if you tap and hold and you go to the add menu from here you can add apps you can add widgets whatever widget is available and you can also add new folders and you can add shortcuts alright so this is a fully customizable home screen pack and like I said, the best part is that you can go to the market, you tap and hold, go to the home pack buzz, and from here, you've got thousands of options that you can pick. And they're all pretty. Okay? So this is an endless scrolling here. You can go to the hot home pack screens. You can go to the featured ones and pick your choice. Now, in conjunction to the home pack buzz, there's another app that you're gonna have to go and download that has to do with this one so if I go to my top 10 folder here you have to go and download buzz widget what buzz widget allows you to do is create super customized widgets uh, specifically for the buzz launcher so if we go back into the buzz launcher so you download the buzz widget alright and then you go to buzz launcher and then you tap and hold and then you click add and then you go to widgets and from the widgets you want to grab buzz widget now when you tap this it's going to allow you to choose a size so you can grab a 2x2 two two, a 1x1 one one, a 3x2 let's just go with something simple 1x1 one one. and it's asking you it's telling you that you need to configure your widget if you click OK it is going to take you into your widgets menu and from here again you've got an endless list of beautiful widgets that you can grab and put on any uh, bus pack home screen alright so look at this one over here for example so you can grab this guy and you can put it on your home screen but what you can also do is you can go into the details of each widget if you click edit it allows you to edit every aspect of this widget from this menu so you can change the icon you can change the image you can change the background image you can uh, format the date month text on this widget and you can also add brand new widgets and create widgets from scratch using the same exact menu so if you go back to the main menu of buzz widget on the top here you'll see add new widget if you tap that it allows you to create a brand new widget this is your workspace and here are the things you can add to your widgets so you click plus you can grab an image text you can have an oval shape or a rectangle shape you can have a battery circle or a battery bar 
and then you click OK and all these things will show up right here and then you can grab these things and you can move them around and design your own widget so that's the best thing about the buzz widget that is part of the buzz launcher now the other app that I want to talk about is called the CalQ app so this is a calculator app and the reason I like this app is because it has customizable themes so I love customization when it comes to my apps this is a very simple calculator so it's addition subtraction and you do have an advanced menu that allows you to do some trigonometry and stuff like that but basically I want you to get this app because of this option you go to settings and under settings you have themes and from the themes based on your mood you can pick any uh, theme that you want so I can go with this guy which is pretty nice or if I feel a little colorful today I can go with this guy over here okay or I can pick any one of these now all of these guys look great I do like uh, theming my applications so that is why this calculator is perfect now beyond being able to change the themes on your application here you can go to settings you can go over here uh, these are the settings for the calculator itself you can do the full keyboard layout and like I said that is going to give you some extra options here so you can do more than just add and subtract so go back to settings and keep it simple and there you go alright so the next application I want to talk about is called a better camera so this is a camera app and it comes with a plethora of, of options that is why I like this so if you go in here what I'm gonna show you is first of all you can choose a different scene mode and you have a lot of scenes so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is you can go to different scenes by tapping this button okay so you've got the HDR option you've got the burst option you've got the night option you can take video and you can do all these different things such as sequence photo but the the good thing I like is every scene has its own menu okay so if you go back here you can do a pull down menu and every scene option comes with a really nice set of uh, menus so this is the single shot option and then you got the exposure metering mode you can flash mode so you can if you tap this allows you to turn it off on even use a torch if you need to um, go back here pull it down uh, you can change the grid type so you have a couple of different grids you can go with this kind of grid okay so you can see the lines and then you can go with this guy which is a circular grid and then you have the regular one okay again you have all these beautiful options where you can change the ISO of your camera manually so if I tap this I can pick my ISO manually alrighty and then if you were to go to video so if I go to video mode and pull this menu down I'm gonna have different options specific for video controls and again you can do some manual controls on your camera for video so you can change the ISO for your video you can change the exposure uh, you can change the video quality so if I tap this you can do 720p 480p or 1080p among other options you can also change the grid okay so this is the better camera with tons and tons of options I do encourage you guys to try it if you are into photography on your uh, phone now the other app I want to talk about is also a home screen replacement app so it's called aviate okay so let's uh, take a look at this guy this is a beautiful and smooth and gorgeous home screen replacement so let's go and test drive this really quick just gonna do it just once and this is what it is so you get a main screen you can change your background picture you've got quick access apps at the bottom here you can pull this up to access quick contacts and favorite contacts if you want to dial them really quickly and then you can scroll to this side and then you get all these apps cleanly categorized in meaningful categories okay this is all automatic and if you scroll over one more time you get your app drawer and this one is categorized alphabetically and I also want to let you know that each screen is in fact customizable so all you do is you tap and hold and from here you can change the background wallpaper you can add a widget you can add a photo okay if you scroll over here and tap and hold you can add a brand new collection of apps create your own category if you have to and populate that category with a drawer of apps just like this one and if you tap this tiny arrow here it's going to expand that collection and you will see all the icons 
hidden inside. Now when you go to the left over here, okay, what you get is you get location specific home screens that give you relevant information based on where you are or what time of day it is. So let me show you how that is done. Basically you tap this settings option right here and then you can go to today and this is your today screen and you can change this as you please. So if you tap and hold, well you don't even have to tap and hold, you can simply add a collection or add a widget. So if you tap add a widget, it gives you options to pick any widget that you want. Okay, if you go back here again and you go to work, this is going to give you a screen customized for work and you build this screen yourself. Okay, again, you can add a collection, you can add widgets. As you can see, because you're at work, it shows you productivity, applications, gives you quick access to email and allows you to create a brand new event on your calendar. Now, if you go into the media mode, which is the listening mode, it's going to give you relevant apps for controlling your uh, music players. So this area here is going, to, it's, it's actually live. So if you're playing any kind of music, you're going to see controls in this screen right here. Let me show you how that looks. So if I launch my app and I play something and I go back, you're going to see it playing right here. And you can pause, play, go to the next track. So it looks really, really nice. Again, you can customize this by adding collections or widgets. And then you can create other customized location-based screens uh, based on what you're doing. So this is another nice home, home screen replacement um, application. And I do suggest that you download it. It is, in fact, free. All right, so the next application that I want to talk about is called AnyDo. So if you go to AnyDo application, you will realize this, that this is a simple to-do application, but it has a gorgeous and smooth interface. So let's say there is something that I want to do today. I tap on today, and I click plus, and then I simply type in over here what I want to do. So uh, take out the trash, okay? Even gives you suggestions, and then you can, uh, you can expand on the suggestions. So let me take this one take out the trash and do recycling. So tap that and then click add and that goes under your today's to-do list. And once you're done with one of these guys, all you do is you swipe on it. Just like that. This way. And that's gone. And then you can exit them out. Okay. And you can do the same for tomorrow. You tap on tomorrow. So tap on tomorrow, click the plus and type in what you want to do. Okay, so that's going to go under tomorrow. You can do that for upcoming. You can do that for any day. Now, the other thing you can do with your list is you can tap on any list and do some customization. So you can designate it to be important. You can add a reminder. Okay, so you can set a time, repeat, repeat the task, task, and set the location. So you can do th that with any of these lists over here. And then you can change the view, so you can do a folder view, okay? So that's personal to-do list, and that is work-related to-do list. And then you can also go premium. So if you tap on premium, you're going to have to pay them some fees, but you're going to get a lot of other options. I'm only concerned about the free version because it is really nice and simple. So that's all I'm going to show you on this app. All right, so the next app I want to talk about is called the Cocktail Flow. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to mix drinks, okay? So this is only for people that like to drink alcohol. So basically, when you launch this application, you can go into Surprise Me, for one. If you want to be surprised, you can tap this, and it's going to give you a random recipe to mix the Moscow Mule. It's going to give you the ingredients, the steps to prepare, and then you can tap this. It's going to give you similar suggestions. Now, if you go back into the main menu over here, you can go to categories. And from categories, you can go for all cocktails. You can choose by color, by type, or by base drink. So let's tap this guy. And let's say you want something creamy. So you tap this, 
and then you pick one of these guys screaming orgasm so let's tap that okay so it gives you all the ingredients gives you steps to prepare it and it gives you suggestions on similar cocktails all right so this is a free app and I really liked it uh, it only is good for you if you are in fact a drinker the next application I want to talk about is called the Avast mobile security now this is a complete suite of apps that will protect your phone so basically this is all you have you have a virus scanner you have an anti theft application which allows you to track your phone from a computer if you lost your phone okay you can do a complete backup of all your data such as your music uh, your contacts your uh, Facebook login information using the backup tool you can do application locking in case you don't want people accessing your apps um, specific apps so you can customize that by going in here and doing some application locking so I can lock the better camera app if I didn't want anybody to access my camera application okay and then you got a privacy advisor you've got application management so you can go in here tap on any application and get tons and tons of details on how that application is being used in your system so for example the any do app has all these permissions on your device okay so if you don't like any of these you can take this application off and then you've got the calling filters you have got a firewall and you've got a network meter so there's a lot of tools here that you want to play with this is also free you do if you do go premium it is gonna it is gonna cost you a couple bucks per month but it is an application you need to download now another application that I absolutely adore is called ES file Explorer okay so all Android phones should have a file Explorer but this Explorer is first of all it's free so that's number one benefit number two it is extremely usable but basically I mean you can go to into any folder of your phone including your um, SD cards your internal storage wherever you need to go so let's go to external storage you can go inside folders and you can grab a folder tap and hold you can copy that folder cut the folder delete the folder rename the folder and you even have much more options so if you click more you've got more options over here okay so you can grab something from one folder and put it into another folder you can grab something from your internal storage and put it on your external storage using by this application you can change the view okay so you can go to large icons you can go to medium list I like the medium icons okay and you can navigate your phone using ES file Explorer very very easily and I do want to let you know that the ES file explorer is much more than a simple file explorer you do have a lot of tools network tools and uh, library tools and much more I, again I encourage you to download this thing and I want you to play around with it and uh, if you like it you keep it it's free alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.